you know, um, we all look uh, leaving our home country. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why we want to leave. It's not the same country uh, we knew once knew, and a lot of things. Uh, we're looking at things through rose-colored glasses, uh, you know, to get out of our country and starting a new life, starting over. Uh, and I started writing down reasons why someone shouldn't come here, just to try to help people, maybe, maybe something to think about. My number one reason I wrote, don't come here unless you have an income. You can't come here and expect to work. The only way you can come here and work is if you have a job and you can work remotely, and then you're okay. And if you don't like lines, standing in line, don't come here. If you're going to come in here and you're going to stand in line, it might be three people. That three people in line, that may take 15 minutes. If you're an impatient person, don't come here because your patience will be tested. If you don't like heat and humidity, don't come to the Philippines. If you had a, a bad temper or a f short fuse, don't come here, because again, that'll be tested. Don't come to the Philippines if you like being stared at, because if you're a foreigner, you will be stared at. And they're, they don't stare at you to be rude, they stare at you because you're different. We look different to them. They're not used to a lot of places you go, they're not used to seeing foreigners, especially the children. Uh, don't come here if you have poor health, because there's no Medicaid here. Some of the medications harder to find, and you're going to have to self-insure. So that's a big one to think about. Uh, don't come here if you expect to find what you want to eat available, or find it again if you found it once, because you may not find it. Don't come here if you want 100% quiet. There's always dogs or cats or chickens or children playing embrace it it's it's nature it's what the dogs the cats the children that's 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 part of life embrace that that's that's nature don't come here if you're not adaptable because the philippines will not change for you you have to change be able to change in order to come here that's why you're coming here you're going to you want to change your life <clears throat> If you're addicted to drugs or alcohol, don't come to the Philippines. Alcohol here is very inexpensive and it's very easy to get, so that, that's a no-no. And You don't want to be locked up in a Philippine jail. <clears throat> don't come here if you like to complain. Stay home. <laughs> no one wants to hear it in the USA and people don't want to hear it here. You'll be very lonely. Don't come here if you can't stand traffic. When you fly into Manila or Cebu, there's going to be traffic out the Yazoo, so get used to traffic. You come to a bigger city, there's going to be a lot of traffic. Um, another thing, don't come here and expect the service uh, in a restaurant to be the same as it is at home. Uh, if you uh, Don't come here if you don't have an emergency fund or a major credit card. You may want to get out of town pretty quick. And you also need that safety net. If something happens, and you need to go to the hospital. Don't come here unless you have an exit plan. The way China's been flexing its muscle lately, uh, I mean, it may be par can call me paranoid or whatever, but it's always nice to be when you're in another country and you plan on living there to have an exit plan at least in case you want to go back to the USA. Uh, don't come here if you're a picky eater. Like I said, you can't always find what you want to eat. You may have to settle. Don't come here if you want to disappear. You'll stand out and you'll be remembered by everyone everywhere you go. When I frequent somewhere, I, I'm always remembered. And number 19 now, don't come here expecting it to be like America. It's not. It's a completely different culture different beliefs and different superstitions. And believe me, I've heard a lot of different superstitions. Don't come here if you expect everything to be cheaper. Not everything is. If you want any Western style foods, expect to pay a lot more. I was in SNR and I saw State Fair corn dogs, a 
box, a large box of those were like $15. $15. So I said, nope, we're not buying those. Don't come here unless you uh, have someone in the States to help you with any uh, your affairs in the U.S. A family member or someone, someone you can trust. If you need anything from the States, it's good to have a person there to, to help you out. And you may need you know, a bank account locked up or, or you may need something sent to you. Well, those are the things I've, I've thought of. If you can think of any more, go ahead and add them to the comments. And I tried to be, I didn't try to be too redundant. This was just me thinking again. I'm no expert. These are the things I thought of. Till next time, be safe and have a good one.